was a good dinner. Man. It's Andy. Man, what's up, my boy? It's Andy. <laughs> That's right, Andy. Long time no talkie, homie. Brandon Q, what's good, broski? What's up, Brandon Q? Yes, sir. He said, laugh out loud. Hey, Andy, Marcus, what's up? How you, my boy? I'm all right, man. You know it, carnal. Hope everything is well, big bro. Yeah, man, I just wasn't feeling it, man. The last two days, depression kicked in. If you guys don't know, boy OG Black suffers from depression, homies. <laughs> Smash that thumbs up, though. Hey, dude, I just had an awesome dinner. It was off the chain, brother. I love shrimp. The spice, I love shrimp. So you guys ever want to make OG Black happy? Make that motherfucker some shrimp. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Love me some shrimp. You know what I mean? My baby blue element hat, what up? Buenas tardes, EDU. What up, my boy? Your, OB, your boy OG Black hella fresh all the time, though, huh? What you guys think about, about the OG Black attire, huh? Hella fresh or what? I'd be dressing fresh or what? Be, mm, be fresh as fuck, huh? Mm. Mm, take some photos for the FBI, DA. What up, motherfuckers? What's up? I want to send a shout out to my boy from the FBI, Jacob Sweden. Suck a fat one. <laughs> That's a guy who was on my ass for a long time growing up, guys. Jacob Sweden. You ever get that guy knocking on your door? You better have a good lawyer. My boy Jacob Sweden is vicious. Vicious. Yeah, but he don't be fucking with me no more. He knows that OG Black is retired. Retired, homies. What the fuck was that about, my boy? Re, re. Oh, you got clowns in this motherfucker. Hey, hey, you better calm down. My guard dog, guys. Got me a guard dog. He's one of those, um. You better stop, dude. He gets all jealous when I start talking about him. He's one of those, um. One of those, like, um, fuck, I can't believe I just forgot his name. He's a Belgium, Malin, Malin, whatever. Can't even say his name right now. I'm fucking like four or five thousand. Your guard dog said, Trago un patito. <laughs> no, he's got this little squishy toy. The motherfucker got a squishy toy. The better way. Yeah, that fool's crazy. Yep. Yep. What's up with the CDN peace treaty? Oh man, I heard about that, man. That's a that's a fucking gravy peace treaty. Say what up to my lady. We here listen to your live. Aquí como te get some ice cream. Hell yeah. What kind of ice cream are you gonna get? You gonna get American ice cream or are you gonna get fucking Mexicano ice cream? You know what I mean? It all depends. Mexican ice cream's cool, dog. Don't get me wrong. Man, that that vanilla ice cream, that fucking um, you know, shit, chocolate chip, um, fucking um, all that shit's good, bro. My favorite, not to talk shit, I'm just like my dad. Igualito que mi papá, me gusta el el pistachio nut, homie. Pistachio nut. A lot of oh, este güey se tragó un pato. Um. A lot of people like uh, Tres Leches. You know what I mean? How do you guys like the title tonight? I'm going to give you guys a, a fucking OG Black schooling right now. So get your papers and pens ready. Right. Oh, that's the best Chacaron. Ch 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 chacaron. Chacaron. Hey, Chacaron, you look like a fly guy. What about you too, um, EDU? Ask your lady. She's right there. EDU, ask her. Tell her, how does OG Black dress? Does he dress fly? Look like an ex mafioso or what? Like ex narco or what? Marcus four two nine says pistachio ice cream fire hell yeah. 
Trillman, what's up, bro? Shadow Fall, sup, OG Black? What up, Shadow Fall? Yeah, so what's up, guys? EDU, what do you think, man? William Palmer, your dinner looked bomb. I had mushrooms, Swiss burgers, mac and cheese, and tater tots. That shit's bomb. Yeah, hey, you know what? Um, <coughs> 46 Flame, that shit's as real deal as Holyfield. John Padilla, man, what's up? P-Town, what's up? Pomona, my way. Shit. Bang, bang, lips and titties, ass, something, something, aha, school, Jew, and that's how we do it in Pomona, fool. <laughs> Big Pomona. Fly with the white tee. Hell yeah, huh? Hey, not to talk shit, huh, but I don't look like some broke down YouTuber, huh? What made an MP1 the most important to Macho Prieto? It's not M. It's there it wasn't P1 is the most important to Macho Prieto. It was a Russo was one of his his top people. I'll get into that. Oh, the info I got on it. Look, I'll tell you this much. Remember this, guys. Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generación was started by a man who lived and grew up in Michoacan. The Viagras are a bunch of kids that grew up fighting roosters. Okay, they, they, their original, the Viagras originally started in the cockfighting pits as handlers and people that took care of roosters. Um, I'm sure they, I'm sure they mingled with, um, I'm sure they mingled with a lot of, a lot of people's uh, back dams, you know? Weemaws in the house, that's right, big bad Weemaws. If anybody knows what Weemaws is, homie, that's Wil Wilmington, homie. Wilmington, the homies from Wilmington. Wimas Trece, homie. Shout out to all my boys from Wimas. Spanky. Um, sporty. Who else was I busted with? Goofy. I was busted with Big Goofy, too. Not Little Goofy. Big Goofy. And it's a trip, too, because that fool ain't big. He's small and short. So I don't know why the fuck they call him Big Goofy, but, you know, he always used to be like, I'm Big Goofy, homie. Oh, that's right, EDU. Well, P1's the only one. Yo, Black, my people stay 10 minutes from your people in Oxnard. Damn. That's right, the Chicas. Chacarron, the names. Damn, must be nice. I had plain Taco Bell. <laughs> hey, hey, don't get me wrong, 46 Flame. I had Del Taco today. That was my slash breakfast lunch. Del Taco, five dollar, uh, Camila Park. That's right, homie. I had um the the fucking three the three little tacos, with French fries, and a soda. It's like a five five sixty nine with tax shit. It's a real good deal. It's a five dollar deal. I had that bean burritos are fire. Fuck yeah, from Taco Bell. My favorite uh, fucking burrito from Taco Bell is a bean and cheesy rice burrito. I used to live off those motherfuckers before. And I was a broke down Negroid. My other video probably got taken off YouTube for copyright infringement. I was supposed to be hating. YouTube's a bunch of haters. Now I'm gonna get into it right now, guys. Um, so if anybody knows anything about where Russo's at right now or where he's making his He's trying to make his um, his new home, you know, because Russo's originally from Sinaloa. He usually worked for Don Mayo. Um, if anybody knows anything about Don Mayo and, and the history of Don Mayo, you guys can look this up to see if I'm wrong or wrong. Don Mayo likes to exile people when he gets upset with them. You know, um, a lot of people say he's the one that killed Chapo's son. So he exiled him. That was part of the, the, the treaty that Chapo and Don Mayo came to, to accordance. Um, you know, his son Edgar, a lot of people say Chapo's son Edgar was killed by Macho Prieto's gunmen. Not by the Beltran Levas, but by Macho Prieto's gunmen. And it was an accidental death. Um, they said that Edgar Guzman Loera, may he rest in peace, entered Sinaloa without telling anybody because he wanted to surprise his dad. At that time, Macho Prieto was in, in charge of the city security. 
and his gunmen saw a car that looked a lot like the Beltran Leva's car. And they didn't ask any questions. They just started opening fire um, and killing Edgar Guzman. You know, a lot of people say that. Um, facts might back it up because of this. When Don Mayo gets mad at you, he exiles you from Sinaloa. That's one way of, of making whoever's mad at you. He, he, he learned that um, from Macho Prieto. What he'll do is he'll exile you to, to, to Mexicali. Because Don Mayo has a has a big, 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 big hatred towards a, a certain family that lives in Mexicali. And a lot of people know of them. Um, it's the Garibay Felixes. Um, I personally know a lot of information about this. Don Mayo does not like the Garibay Felixes. Now, a lot of people have mis misinformation that the Garibay Felixes work for Don Mayo. That is incorrect. The Garibay Felixes were one of the only families that st stepped away from the Federation and gave Don Mayo the big finger. Now, the reason why is because the, Gari the Garibay Felixes and, and other families didn't believe with working with the government. Working with the government is something new that that uh, people like Don Mayo and, and his predecessors um, made common. Back in the old days, narcos were narcos, police were police, federales were federales, estatales were estatales, and they didn't mingle together. But over time, it became normal for these guys to mingle with each other and coexist with each other. Now, Don Mayo, had a lot of problems with Enruso. Enruso in Culiacán was starting not to be liked by the Chapitos. And to keep the Chapitos in check or to keep them happy, Don Mayo did something that he usually always does, the same thing he did to Macho Prieto. He sent him to Mexicali. Now, Enruso has a personal vendetta against the Garibay Felixes because he comes from a school of Macho Prieto. If anybody knows anything about Enruso or P1, is that they all were under Macho Prieto when they were young. What's up, the funny pro? They all worked for Macho Prieto before. Shout out to the funny pro. Hit that thumbs up, guys. If you guys haven't hit that thumbs up, I'm dropping some fire for you guys. EDU, my boy Chacaron, put that cash app up there too so y'all can make some donations, you know? Like Snoop Dogg said, the game is to be sold, not told. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I do this shit so you guys can get educated. Stuff that YouTube won't put you guys on because YouTube is censored too. And a lot of these guys that, that do uh, these uh, social medias are aligned to certain families. Even though I'm aligned to a certain family, guys, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to give you guys the truth and the history. You know, I've always been a firm believer in people knowing the truth. You know, you can't get this in college. You can't get this anywhere, guys. You can't get this even in prison. I'm telling you guys stuff that, that only I know from... Not that I only know, but only people in the business who've been in the business and worked hard and suffered through the years. Remember, guys, I, I sold dope here. I sold dope in Mexico. I worked in Mexico. I was busted in Mexico. I was extradited. I've been to the prisons here in California. I grew up in the juvenile system. You know, you need to miss me with that shit, homie. You know what I mean? You ain't impressing nobody and, and dropping names ain't scaring me for shit. You know what I mean? I, I'm a, I, I was somebody. I am somebody. And I am also related to somebody, too. You know, and I'll tell you one thing my dad said. He taught me very early at an age. I hope when push comes to shove, the only difference between me and my family is my family pushes a little fucking harder. And the people you send to kill me like me a little better than they like you. You know? El Enji, ¿qué onda? Es de la, de la tía. Tijuana's my fucking, my, my fucking, my favorite place to go. No, I'm just kidding, guys. It's, I go there a lot. I haven't been there in a while, but la tía is somewhere I, I, I frequented a lot in my life. Now... Getting back to El Russo. And Russo has a personal vendetta against the Garibay Felixes. And one way he, he wanted to get back in good graces with Don Mayo was his ability to want to clean up Mexicali. Mexicali is a focal point for anybody who deals drugs. Why? It's in the middle of nowhere. It's hot. You can land planes anywhere. Uh, there isn't a lot of towns around there. And for years, for years... The CDS has tried to control Mexicali. Now, Mexicali to me is kind of the best way I can describe it is like Afghanistan. You had the Russians go there. You had the U.S. go there. And guess what? 
Don't fucking matter how long they went there and fought and killed who they killed at the end. They left. They left. Why? Just couldn't get the fucking job done. You know, it's kind of like boxing. Motherfucker wins 9, 10, 11 rounds. And on the 12th round, he gets knocked the fuck out. Same way with Mexicali. These guys have, have won 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And when it comes to the 12th round, bam, they get buckled. Eduardo Robles, what up, my boy? We're talking about El Russo right now. You know? And El Russo comes from a, from a good schooling. Don't get me wrong. Nacho Preto was a, was a good guy. He, came, he was a loose cannon. Um, he didn't bow down to anyone. Um, everybody, everybody in no disrespect, always uh, idolizes M1 and Manuel Torres. Manuel Torres was, was uh, there's a snake in my boot. He was scared of the motherfucker, Macho Prieto. If it wasn't for Don Mayo, I think um, old Manuel Torres would have been in a, in a fucking cooler. You know, with his head chopped off, you know, would have fed him to his caballos. You know, but a lot of people don't know that. You know, uh, Macho Prieto... You know, there's an old saying in Mexico. Lo que sube rápido, rápido cae. Or rápido baja. You know, um, you know, Macho Prieto made a lot of alliances. He was having a lot of friends from Colombia. Um, and you got to understand something, guys. One thing in this business is when you make someone mad, you make someone upset, you know what I mean? They'll off you. You know why? Because you become a threat to them. You become a threat to their well-being, to their money, to their future. And they know it. And they're like, hey, let me cut this dude off before he gets too big, you know? And and, and Macho Prieto was no exception. Um, you know, and Russo, and Russo, if anyone knows, he's been giving the Sinaloa cartel a problem for a while. They sent them to Mexicali, kind of chill out. And... Yeah, they had beef, William Palmer, they had beef. Um, you know, and a lot of people don't understand, you know, and Russo has ended up branching off for himself. Now, the reason why he did that was more of, more Don Mayo did it was because he knew that he couldn't really control Russo and he knew that Russo was going to do something one day that he didn't approve of. And cutting ties off with the Russo was the best way he could do it. Um, he doesn't underline work for, for Don Mayo anymore. But what he does do is he still picks up shipments of cocaine and, and Malpola from him. And people go, how does that work? But you guys got to understand something, man. Uh, it's, it's common knowledge like this. These guys pick up four, five, ten, fifteen tons of cocaine. They... The way they do it is like this. You got a guy like Don Mayo. Has lots of people making money from drug dealers from every part. So he's got drug dealers in Durango. He's got drug leaders in Tijuana. He's got drug leaders in fucking Sinaloa. He's got drug dealers in Nayarit, right? So at the end of every like six months, he gets all these drug dealers' monies and he puts it together. You know, and if you know anything about retail guys, it's, it's if you buy in bulk. Okay. And the way Don Mayo and most drug dealers and the way my uncle did it is this is how you do it. You get everybody's money, you put it together, then you get your money, and then you place an order. Now, when you buy in bulk, you're going to get a better deal. And that's what they do. And then after they receive that bulk, Don Mayo, my uncle, and then they distribute it. It goes down, down the totem pole. You see what I mean? And that's what makes these guys the bosses and the jefes is because they're the distributor. You know, they're the, the head snake. Damn, excuse me, guys. <laughs> Dinner just came up. I ate really good, guys, you know? You know, and um, man, it was great. But not to get off subject, you know, and Russo, he's not a stupid guy. He knows that he don't have the Colombian connections. He don't have the connections with the growers in Oaxaca. He don't have the connections with the with the with the pilots from Quintana Roo, so he still needs Don Mayo. Now, Don Mayo ain't really gonna be um, putting it out there that he don't have Russo under control because it makes him look bad. 
Now, Russo's not going to go around saying he don't work for the old man because it'll make him look like he don't he don't have anything. Remember, El Hombre del Sombrero carries a carries a lot of a lot of clout still. His name makes a lot of people think twice before you do something to him. You know, and Russo don't mind having that sort of protection, you know. And Russo picks up a good load of stuff from people from, from Don Mayo. Don Mayo helps him pick up loads and a lot of people don't know that. You know, most of these guys like in Russo, El Omega, a lot of these guys get rich because they're able to pick it piggyback off the loads that their bosses get. You know, um, that load that El Trebo and Flaquito and them stole really personally hurt El Russo and them. You know, a lot of people said, oh, it was Don Mayo's load. I don't think it was Don Mayo's load. I think what happened is that Don Mayo sent that load to be delivered and they robbed it. And Russo and them got mad. And they're not going to go against their old boss and be like, hey, motherfucker, we want our dope. No. Nope. What they're going to do is go to the person who stole it. You know, because Don Mayo's going to give him the finger. You know what I mean? The old man's going to tell him, hey, look, you guys are on your own. I, I sent you guys the, the dope and you guys didn't do nothing, you know? You know, and, and no, I don't think they ran him out, William. I think he left on his own reconnaissance. He left before he knew he could get got by the government. You know, a lot of these guys, if you guys, I'll repeat it again, they use the government, man. The government is, is something that they use all the time. You know, and then, you know, like example, like Chapo. Chapo had been giving up people for a long time, trading them into the, to the government. And people got to understand something. Don Mayo is the original keepsaker of the gates to the Mexican and the United States government. Don't get it fooled. I said it on my show three years ago. You know, and you can see it to this day. Don Mayo ain't never going to step a day in jail. Why? Because he is the original negotiator with the United States of America. And like my dad used to tell me, you couldn't even find a motherfucker anywhere and get him arrested like Don Mayo. He ain't never going to happen. You know, the U.S. has the ability to find a motherfucker in a rice fucking, a rice bowl patty in, in Vietnam. But yet you can't find some old man who lives in the hills. You know, that's not going to happen, guys. And Don Mayo is no exception to the rule. The U.S. has always liked an informant they can control, an informant that they know. He's like a household name, guys. You know, OG Black, it's been years. Do you remember me? Cam, I might, might not, man. It's not your, your handle you had before. You know, like, it's like when you go to the store. You know what I mean? You go to the store and you see a brand that you grew up watching your whole life. And then you see a new brand. You're not going to pick the new brand because you're accustomed to the old brand. So you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be, you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to go with this. You know, it's like if you're Mexican, you go to the U.S. liquor store, you go to the market here and you see a bottle of Coca-Cola. You're going to grab the bottle of Coca-Cola first before you grab Pepsi. Why? Because if you're Mexicano, you drink fucking Coca, homie. You don't drink Pepsi. But if you're American or Gavacho, you drink Pepsi. You know, the motherfuckers are called the Pepsi generation around here. Pepsi was uh, Coca-Cola's competition. And, and the U.S. always marketed Pepsi. They didn't market Coca-Cola like in Mexico. You give a fuck where you're at. You got Coca-Cola. Pepsi's just like, what the fuck is Pepsi? They drink it now, but it's got no sway or movement. And, and Don Mayo's the same way. Now, El Russo, you know, he's been, he's, he's not a lame. He comes from a good schooling, guys. He comes from, from Macho Prieto. Um, he survived this long. He moved up the escalera or the ladder, as we call it in Mexico. You know, how do you move up the ladder? Through pain, tears, and suffering. You know what I mean? Um, Mayo drinks spring water. Fuck yeah, he does. He drinks spring water and, and eats mushrooms, homie. Um, that fool, you know what I mean? He's been around longer than the fucking, than the dinosaurs. 
and 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 you know in mexico it's common practice you know here in the u.s you don't hear bosses giving up their their, their workers or you don't hear the italian families doing that or or the mexican mafia or the aryan brotherhood or 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 the texas syndicate you know what i mean or the guys from the fifth ward in, in, in fourth ward in louisiana they don't do that in mexico it, it's kind of it's a normal thing you know they they run a they run their 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 organizations like a like a business and what's up fucking amber bueno hey guys if you guys don't know anything look up my girl amber bueno the magical wand show hey amber put your put your information right there on instagram so they can they can pick up some of your 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 flowers and stuff man hey you guys my girl amber bueno is she's a uh, she's really into the into the life and she knows a lot and she she's she's a uh, she's got her own business from what i understand now um she sells all sorts of, of plants and stuff uh she's really in touch with her uh her native side you know what i mean fucking amber bueno you look native like a motherfucker me huh i never really saw a picture of you but shoo we no disrespect pero <laughs> te miras native girl does she know brujerias? <laughs> hey man, that shit's real, man. I don't, I don't fuck with the brujeria, my boys. That shit's real. But once again, I'll get back on subject. You know, Don Mayo. Uh, Don Mayo. He he definitely. Um, I should make her a moderator, huh? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Amber Bueno. Um, let me see. Check that out, Amber Bueno. Uh, let me see. Check out what I did right now. See if see if you're a moderator now. And it says the magical wand show is now a moderator, moderator or monitor or whatever. But you know, look, I'll tell you guys this much. The Gavi, the Garibay Felixes have been in, in Mexicali, Sinaloa, Michoacan, and Tijuana for more than twenty five years. There you go, hola. There you go. You the man. You got yourself a little, a little. <laughs> now you can check fools. Um, they, they've been there for the last twenty five years. You know, you've had Macho Prieto, Omega, Russo. Someone brought him up the other day. Miles' other boy, Checo. All of them have not been able to get rid of the Gotti Vai Felixes. They just killed somebody recently in my family, just just recently, and you know, and and it is what it is, guys, and and and, and it, you know, and um, you know, they're trying to end everyone, and and the Gotti Vai Felixes were not aligned with the Chapitos at first. They're an independent family that traffic drugs on their own. Um, they didn't work with any other cartel. They were their own cartel or their organization or, or a dynasty, as other people call it, the Dinastia Garibay. But what happened was that when Obidio got arrested, the one thing my grandfather said was this, we do not work with the government. And I'll make that clear one more time, guys. We do not make deals with the government. We don't pay them. We don't ask for their protection. We can take care of ourselves. We're not like other families who pay a piper, pay the government, you know, and a lot of these guys do. And I'm not saying it's a right thing to do because that is the thing to do now. If you want to operate in Mexico and operate with any impunity, you work with the government. And Don Mayo and them have done that. You know what I mean? And that's how they've gotten away for so far. You know, people don't want to call someone a snitch or say something. Hey, that's fine. But a duck's a duck and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a dog's a dog and a cat's a cat. Homie, you walk like a duck and you quack like a duck. You're a duck. You know what I mean? And there's tons of people. I have I had uh, two guys that I was in prison with. Two dudes. Right? And they were like, hey, cabrón, ven pa' acá. Tú que sabes todo, they said like that, you know? Yeah, I said who my uncle was once. Um, and um, long story short, they showed me paperwork 
from the U.S. government where they were working for Sefrain, all right, in Arizona, okay? And they were, they, and this was in the, back in the early 90s when they used to have Mexican brickweed. And they recently, in 2000, this was in 2000 and... 2014 or 13 when I was in prison with them they fucking showed me the paper where Sefrain had said that these guys worked for them now if Sefrain would have landed in the prison where I was at they would have slit that fool's throat from neck to neck the Paisano card would have had that fool and they wouldn't have gave a mad fuck if he was Don Mayo's son if he was son of Montezuma if he was Walt Disney's grandson, if he was fucking Jimmy Hoffa's brother, if he was Carlo Gambino's grandson, they would have slit that motherfucker's throat from ear to ear. Okay? And if not the Paisanos, the Hammond would have done it, the Aryan Brotherhood would have done it, because in general population, they don't allow snitches. Now, he could have been on the PC yard, but even in the PC yard, the two fivers would have got him. Old Savage Studios would have stuck a fucking pencil through his neck. Um, you know, those guys are no joke, man. And, and, and you're not safe. One thing that nobody likes in prison. Well, two things that nobody likes in prison. Let's fuck it. Let's say all three. They don't like chomos. They don't like people that kill kids. And they don't like female rapists or murderers of women. Those three things. You're any of those three things in prison, even on the protective custody yard, even in the S and Y yard, even if you're in a yard, there might be a motherfucker who might want to stab you and kill you. If there's two fivers on that yard, you're fucked. They're going to get you. If there's a new flowers or whatever the fuck they're called, they're going to get you. So... Even them, they're not protected in prison, guys. They're fucking pretty much out for the wolves. Now, someone like in Russo is definitely a person that has gained notoriety for his brutality. You know what I mean? Um, but he's also Sinaloense. Remember that, guys. He uses the government to achieve his objective. You know, it's bad enough when you got an enemy chasing you guys. But another one is when you got the fucking government looking for you. Now you got two motherfuckers on your back. You got to watch your front and your butthole. And that's bad, guys. It's bad enough that you got to watch your butthole. Now you got to watch your front now, too. Why? Because your enemies are after you. Now, and Russo comes from that schooling. He comes from a schooling where, where he's been used to working with the government. Where he's used to making deals with the government. Where he's used to to coexisting with the police department, with the estatales, with the marinos. You know, um, a lot of the guys do that. I'll tell you this much. It's like El Flaquito from Tijuana. A lot of people don't know, but his cousins are cops. His cousins are work for the, for the local Marine Corps. You know what I mean? That load, he stole him and Trevor. Well, the reason why they stole it is because cause Trevor used to work for Sinaloa in the beginning. So he knew a lot of the old landing spots. He knew a lot of the old distribution centers. He knew a lot of the old warehouses. That's what that's what the internet won't tell you about El Trevo. They said, how, how, why did they kill El Trevo? They killed him because he stole the load. And a lot of people give Flaquito the, the credit for the load they stole and everything. But it wasn't really El Flaquito. It was El Trevo. You know, yeah, he's a fucking charmer like me, Chacaron. Look at him. He's a papacito. Um, you know, El Trevo used to know all the distribution places where they dropped off loads. And guess what? He said, fuck it. He said, let's 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 come up on these fools. And they did. And and they, they took the load probably very easily. It's not hard like they took it. They probably Guys got it, put it in the warehouse, and these guys dressed up as cops and came and took the load. Chacarron's like, what's up? Hell yeah. But, um, 
yeah, guys, you guys could drop me a little something on my cash app for a taco, for coffee, for fucking burritos, for comida para los gallos, homie, or whatever you guys want to do. I'm dropping that knowledge, that fire for you guys. My dog, he ate a pato, homie. Yeah, my guard dog. I have a guard dog, guys. A fucking vicious motherfucker. Woo, I ate a lot for dinner. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, guys, I'm, I'm trying to put you guys up on game. A lot of you guys watch a lot of uh, a lot of YouTube, watch a lot of things the news tells you. And, 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 and don't take what OG Black says. Don't take what the media says. Do your research. Do your history. You'll find out the truth. You'll find out that OG Black don't be lying to you guys. He, he don't be saying stuff like, oh, this and that. But it's the truth, man. Oh, sorry, guys. I got to stretch my arm out because my arm gets all tight. I get all tight. You guys like that? What does that say? What does that say? It says Hurley. Hurley, homies. Yeah, you know, I've been blessed, guys. I'm, I'm not going to tell you the truth. OG Black been in this life for a long time. I've been out now for um, fucking I paroled in 2017, 2018, 2016 I think. I'm not very good at dates guys. But I paroled and I haven't been in since then and thank God and um it's been a it's been a long road, guys. I'll tell you that much. It's been been a long fucking road, long fucking road. And um, you know, I like how a lot of these YouTubers or a lot of these guys who were on on YouTube or do these shows, you know, they deliver you news or they say whatever. Uh, the, the motherfuckers are broke down. They look gacho. They dress like. Like some bum off the street, you know, and, and that doesn't mean that you, because you dress good or, or whatever, but this is my thing. If you say you were somebody or you work for somebody or you did something, you got to have some nice clothes left, a good hat, you know what I mean? Nice shirt, you know what I mean? Fuck, dude, you gotta you gotta look all right. You can't look like some crack it off the corner. You know what I mean? Just because you're not a narco no more, you don't, or you don't smuggle dope no more. Or you're, El Fantasma, what up, my boy? Or you don't, you don't. There's a fucking veteran of the streets right there, the Fantasma homies. Um, you know, if you don't do anything like that, like that, that don't mean anything. You still talk to the same people. Blend some seated watermelon each three. Oh. Dirty birds. Yeah. Hey, hey, Amber Bueno, I have a question. What would be good to lower my blood sugar and my cholesterol for my diabetes? For my diabetico. You know what I, you know what I mean? I need something. Fucking. I, I, I need a little something for my, for my diabetes, girl. And I know you're all holistic. You know what I mean? Fucking Navajo. You know, Mukbang, <laughs> Amber OG Mukbang. Yeah, she's OG. Life outside crime is more enjoyable. Have a fruit juice in the morning. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. I want to I wanna make sure. Go vegan, dude. Oh, man, you've been telling me for a long time to go vegan, mom. Can't. Uh, look, I'm going to tell you the truth. OG Black is huevon. He's lazy. He's fat. Uh, fucking... I'm grave. I like flaming hot Cheetos. It's hard for me. I'm not trying to, I know there's no easy way to do it, but I'm trying to look for something, you know, like a juice, you know, like everyone tells me, oh, get a watermelon and the, the green and everything and blend that, you know? You know what I mean? They said, blend it up with the green on it and drink it like that. Juice it up. And I'm like, fuck, that shit sounds grave. Sounds like chorro, homie, but fuck it. You know, I want to do something. You know, they're like, oh, drink turmeric, drink cayenne pepper. One of my homies told me, get hot water, cayenne pepper, lemon, uh, turmeric, and garlic, he said, and blend all that shit up and then drink it in the morning. Sea moss, big bro. I know, I heard, but then I heard there's a lot of fake sea moss. You know, they blowing smoke, these fantasma. I don't smoke no more Fantasma either. 
so you guys know, me estoy poniendo gordito, though, guys. Look at chip panzón. Look at, 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 look at. Ay, me estoy poniendo panzón, papá. Yeah, you know? Fuck. Okay, but what kind of sea moss is good sea moss? People, I heard there's all sorts of fake sea moss out there. I didn't even know good, Dr. Sebi's. Funny pro, what are you doing right now? Oil of oregano. Oh, fuck. I give that to my roosters. Oil of oregano. Hey, if you guys have something wrong with your throat, drink some oil of oregano and see what happens. Rub that belly. Watch. I'll rub it for you. Look, watch, 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 watch. Oh, grave. Look it. Oh. Oh, that shit's grave, huh? I ate good, though. I gotta thank God, though. Man, I ate fucking good today. Yep. You know? She bought some. Oh, she black will get a little fire. Look at So you guys can see him. That's as far as I can go with my... With my you know? Fuck. You know? Oh, papa. You know? Mm, mm, mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fat ass off. Huh? Go, bro, spot, uh, everyone, everything is expensive, bro, go spot in Honduras, like 1500 you get a heal for sure. I heard about that shit, could be worse, glad you made it. Hell yeah. Yeah, everything's expensive, Fantasma, hell yeah, that's the truth. You know, they tell it, they tell it the truth, you know, that's why, you know, all these guys are, are getting killed in Mexico, man, you know, as you guys can see, you know, and Russo does pretty good because he's got the money for the firepower. You got the money for the firepower like El Russo does, you're going to be all right. You don't got the money for the firepower, you're not going to be all right. You can't buy off politicians. You can't buy off cops. You're running like a fucking, like a zombie. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys do real good because they're, they're in-house informants. You know what I mean? And all bad, guys. All bad, man. All bad. You know what I mean? All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy this, man. I, I love all you guys and thank all you guys for being here. I hope you guys like the information that I give you guys. Remember, I'm not monetized. I don't get paid for this. So you want to drop off something in my cash app. You want to drop off a little something for a little taco, for a little burrito, so I can buy my dog another squeaky fucking bottle. You know, that'd be cool, guys. I don't buy him shit. My girl does. I tell him, fuck that puto. You know what I mean? She's all like, oh, he's a baby. He's a baby. Oh, my little baby. Look at him. He even hurt him. Look at him. Pinche joto. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't fucking do that to that vato. Who wants to see him? Who wants to see this little vato right now? Who wants to see this little vato? I can show you a picture of him right now if you want to see him. Who wants to see the OG black perro, homie? Give me a thumbs up. But I better get some cash out. Hey, Gordo, sit down, homie. I named him after my cousin, too. Rest in peace, my cousin Gordo, homie. Yeah, I named him after my... I didn't name him. His name was already that when I got him from my uh, my, my dad's homie. I asked my dad's homie, what's his fucking name, you know? And he goes, oh, I call him Gordo. And I was like, no fucking way. Like, my primo, huh? He's like, oh, yeah. But he's a good boy. I'll show him to you guys real quick. You guys can see him up Look at that puto. Look at that puto. Come up in OG Black's house and see what happens. Look at that fucking puto. I'll get you. Look that, Gordo? Gordo, come here. Look at that. Sit. Hey, sit down. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Sit down. Sit. That's a good boy. He listens better than your kids do, guys. Look at him. Fuck around with that phone. Get bit up. Yep. All right, guys. What do you guys think of my guard dog, homie? That fool's vicious, huh? End up biting your ass. All right, guys, you guys have a good night. He, he's already crying, being a big old baby because he likes attention. I give him a lot of attention. All right, it's your boy OG Black, and I'm out.